Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival episode. So today we're featuring um, PvP must-haves for the game as early as now. Because you guys uh, are... I've seen some new um, guys come into the game. And um, I must tell you now that there are you know certain heroes that are really excelling in in pve so those are the type of heroes that we're going to talk about a lot are, is actually applicable for pve content pve i mean would actually be um the campaign so it's pve T technically it's pve then you have skyscraper which is actually this one not the the other floors that i just opened um the regular of uh, skyscraper floor then you have uh, Midtown and uh, but this is going to be your Midtown and uh, you're going to have Zombie Express. Okay, so these heroes are actually excelling in these content. Um, again, I'm going to pick top two per faction so that you don't, you know, you it, whatever faction you're using. This list or this uh, video is going to be applicable for you. So let's start off with uh, Collegium. Okay, so for Collegium, the first one would be Henry. Okay, Henry because Henry is more like anti, you know, anti-zombie. So he actually has a passive that for each... A zombie kill it's a plus 130 sp and he actually gives you sp which is sp means is uh skill points so skill points actually helps you um activate your ultimate skill faster so he is basically used mainly for no no he specializes in zombie killing and has a lot of um add-ons once he kills zombies and again, he has uh, a lot of useful skills that you can use outside of being, you know, being a zombie killer. But again, the most useful, useful skill that he has here is this one, the plus 30 SP for each zombie kill. Okay, because again, his ultimate is going to be this one. Um, common corrupted zombies can't keep up when it will be staggered. Okay. Okay, so dashes into the fray, blinding speed with 480 attack power. So again, he is a must-have. So next must must-have for Collegium for PvE would be Meredith. Okay, Meredith. Um, for one thing only, she is actually going to be you know contribute to your survivability because of the shield that she gives to your team. Okay, so where's the shield? So shield is equal to 20% of Meredith's HP. And more or less, she is there to give, uh, what do you call this? Give you buffs as well. And um, he, she is uh, uh, also here a 20% defense instead of the shield. Okay, so again, um, and also as, as you see here, increases shield power to... 135% of attack power. So, again, she contributes to her overall survivability, especially if it's a horde of zombies that you are facing. As you go higher in the stages, the horde actually becomes bigger that you will need a lot of defense and a lot of healing. So, we're done with Caligium. The next would be Blue Banshee. So, number one in Blue Banshee for, a, for um, PvE, uh, particularly in dealing with hordes of zombies, is going to be Britney. So for Britney, I like this one, the air support. This actually hits hard, um, particularly when you have a big horde coming your way, and also staggers them. And also, she's immune. She's actually immune to stun. Not not really immune, but she has a, a plus thirty five percent stun resistance, and she also gives um, seventy five skill points to your allies once she enters the battlefield so she is actually a very good support and a very good aoe um hero so again she is really an aoe damage dealer next would be the top two uh, on this list for blue banshees 
is going to be Murray. Okay, um, most of you guys know Murray for PV PvP, but he also excels in PV. You know, he is excels most in crowd control. So he has actually um a trap. He throws a trap um down the floor so that it deals damage and. There's also here that throws a three remote mines and detonate when an enemy gets too close. And also, um, part of the campaign, sometimes you get to encounter um, uh, what they call this heroes, um, five heroes as well. Then he will be more useful there. Okay, so again, um, this rounds out the must have for blue banshees. Let's go next to sugar reapers. So for Sugar Reapers, the first one is going to be Abigail. Abigail is um, one of the most unique um, heroes here because she is a def she is a tank, but she is a berserker. If you pair her with Astra, sh um, she can be very very annoying because she packs a lot of punch. Then, um, as her HP actually decreases, then she does out more more damage. So again, that is why she's a good frontline for your team. Um, very good in playing defense, but also dealing additional, you know, additional attack as well. And again, um, adds attack shock effect to basic attacks. The skill drains SP and ends with SP is zero. Okay, so shock for this uh, ultimate skill is actually added to overload okay so that is why she is actually very good in terms of the de uh, being a defender dishing out a lot of damage and if you resurrect her she gets you an additional turn once she dies but again if you have a healer it's difficult to actually kill her next would be on sugar reapers is actually one of my favorites it's going to be rock rock is in terms of output she is actually kind of the top in terms of aoe damage probably just uh, just above uh, what they call this just above britney so she is actually aoe damage dealer and she really packs a lot of punch okay so she, what she does is just inflict a lot of damage aoe wise and is perfect for killing zombies so again she's going to be your you know if you have her uh, level her up she's going to be are useful in all of your pve content um very very good aoe damage dealer and what can i say um her ultimate skill actually deals a you know insane amount of damage so that is why she is i think for me the top aoe damage dealer in this list okay so now we're done with the sugar reapers next we're gonna go to hive okay First on the list is Hive. So most of you think that Tanya is more on a you know, PvP oriented. But again, she actually strikes multiple enemies as well. This is actually for, for Hive. So she, you know, doesn't only strike one, but she gets to she gets to strike multiple uh, um, enemies uh, right in front of her and pierces an enemy range, pulling them, prioritizing them uh, proximity to uh allies. she also protects um other allies um near to her and her ultimate is damage to all enemy it enemies it hits so again she is actually built for crowd control as well again she is one of those heroes that you can really pair with astra because of astra's um um necromancy or zombify or or resurrection so she is one of you know um if you pair her with uh with uh abigail i think you get my point so they deal a lot of damage they, they easily die but again if you have astra in the field you can never go wrong with her um in terms of crowd control okay next um on our list is definitely going to be astra so astra for any PvE that you have is going to be ridiculous. Probably top tier support. Um, for one, 
um, he is able to resurrect um, two of your, you know, of your heroes, mainly in the one and two position, and you know, um, they get to attack again. Pretty much very ridiculous, and calls a drone because um, this one sprays poison for a hundred percent bonus against zombies and fifty percent for non-zombies. So again, very good support. And his passive is um, nearby enemies attack reduces by five percent for every two seconds. So again, damage reduction or attack power reduction for your enemies and zombies. So again. It gives you life steal as well. Um, a, a lot of you know, a lot of things he gives, and he gives um, more benefit to raised allies. So again, he is a must for PVE. Really, I've used him in all the content. Um, really, really must have in terms of PVE. Okay, let's go to our honorable mentions. Let's go first to. Axel. Axel is here because he's the only um only AOE um AOE what you call this hero under unique plus. The rest are are mythic plus five um because of this one. So he is an AOE damage dealer, so plus one point five percent attack power per enemy on the battlefield. So again, he is actually very good in terms of controlling the horde. Very, very good. Okay. Next is a uh, high caliber. So this is just knocking back enemies. And for his ultimate skill, it's also a small grenade dealing 350% attack power and knocking enemies back as well. Very good in crowd control and really a must have for your PVE. If you don't have any others under Blue Banshee, he can actually, you know, you can slot him as your must-have for Blue Banshee. Okay, the last on our list is kind of situational, but also a must-have. She is also um, honorable mention. Helen, because in the campaign, there are certain, you know, um, there are certain stages there, again, where you encounter heroes, not zombies. So again, she will be applicable there because these heroes are very hard to kill. And I think only Helen can kill them because, again, she resurrects quite often, deals a lot of damage as well. So you can, she is a must-have in your campaign only for stages where you encounter heroes, not zombies. Because, again, there are only five of them or seven of them, so she can really handle them. But in terms of horde zombies... Um, probably not a good thing to have her there, but it's she's a must-have again for heroes once uh, against heroes if you play the campaign stage. Okay, guys, so those are my top two must-have per faction. So hopefully this um, video actually helped you in deciding who you want to you know stick with and develop. I'm not sure if what uh, faction are you carrying, guys, but. These are actually just my own opinion, and I've seen them play. I played some of them, and they are, I think, the must-haves. Um, I'm not saying that the rest are not good. There are actually good um, heroes as well for PvE, but again, these are the top two per faction. Okay, for those of you guys who have stopped this far in this video, please consider subscribing because this really helps my channel a lot, guys. And also, don't forget to um, click the bell icon if you are subscribed to receive um, all uh, episodes or all videos from my channel. And also, um, don't forget to like this video if you feel that I've helped you in some other way or in some way. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.